Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Markrich. This is your outlook for November 20th, 2013. And starting off with the outlook for today, we have a high pressure that's going to be sitting to our north, uh, providing some uh, northerly winds and uh, another chilly day here uh, with low normal temperatures. Uh, this high pressure is actually going to slide off the east here uh, over the next couple days here, and uh, it's going to position itself off the eastern seaboard here. Uh, which is going to allow for a the winds to shift to a different direction. So we're not going to have the uh, northerly winds anymore. It's actually going to come in. Uh, they're going to shift easterly, then southeasterly, then southerly, and eventually southwesterly. So it's going to kind of go around the clock here. Uh, but what that's going to do is allow the uh, temperatures to uh, increase as we head toward uh, toward the end of the week. Uh, but not going to be increasing too much. Uh, we're going to get back to near normal, maybe slightly above normal temperatures as we head toward Friday. And then another cold front is going to be moving through, and I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, we have the, uh, of course, there's the high pressure we, we were talking about sliding off the eastern seaboard. Uh, because it's doing that, the wind direction is shifting. And we get a little bit of a warm-up. And uh, here's that cold front approaching here. We think that uh, it's going to probably, uh, Friday's going to be one of those days where you have uh, increasing clouds throughout the day. And then uh, late, uh, during the evening hours, probably after dark, uh, we'll have some uh, showers move in from the west associated with that cold front. Uh, these are very light showers, not expected to be a big deal. Uh, it's going to hang out overnight and uh, push off the eastern seaboard uh, maybe early Saturday morning. And I do expect some clearing on Saturday. Uh, but uh, one thing is for sure, behind this cold front is going to be very, very cold. And, uh, you know, we, we use that term uh, cold as a relative term sometimes, but uh, it, is, it is really, you're really going to feel it. Winds are going to shift to the northwest. Uh, you know, this is for, for Saturday, the period from Saturday night uh, through Monday at the very least are going to be just really raw, chilly, just really cold days. And, uh, you know, we're talking about temperatures not getting out of the 30s. Uh, they're not getting not getting above freezing probably in a line from like this point uh, northward is probably not going to be above freezing at all and you might just barely get to freezing just south of this line and maybe in the mid 30s as you get down into uh, southern Jersey but uh, man it's really going to be with the winds blowing it's, it's going to have wind chills in the teens and it's just going to really feel like a very cold winter day so we go a little bit further in time now uh, I want to take a look at uh, one other thing on a Sunday, we might have a few uh, flurries and snow showers, especially across northeastern PA. Uh, maybe some of those getting across uh, northern New Jersey and east central PA that might meander down that far, uh, where we have a you know a passing snow shower or a flurry uh, that cannot be ruled out during the day on Sunday either. Uh, as we get ahead to uh, Monday, uh, high pressure is situated to our south. We'll keep the cold flow off the lakes here, and uh, we're going to just continue that cold theme for a little while. Uh, and then as we get into uh, Tuesday, and let's get a little bit uh, beyond our forecast range, we're going to have a little bit of a disturbance that's going to move, like a little clipper system is going to move across the north here. may drop a few snow showers here again on Tuesday. Uh, it still will be cold enough on Tuesday to support snow. And then uh, we're going to be looking at another system late in the week here. That'll, there's a, or excuse me, midweek next week. This is Wednesday. Uh, this is the GFS depiction of Wednesday. Uh, with it, Which is a little bit slower than some of the other models here, but there's a system that uh, is... Uh, poised to come up the eastern seaboard and may affect the area late in the week, or excuse me, uh, in the, near the Thanksgiving time frame, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, with some snow in the interior if some of the models and the ensembles are correct. But uh, it's a long way away and a lot of time for that to change, but it's something we're definitely keeping an eye on. Here's the uh, European model for so this is for Tuesday, showing that little disturbance, little weak clipper coming across here that might touch a few snow showers uh, across our, our area, especially northern areas. And that's shown here on the European model as well. And as we go a little bit further in time here, here's that system again on the European model. Now this thing takes a, a turn wide to the right here. Uh, but uh, like I said, the ensembles are showing a little bit different of a scenario where you actually would bring, uh, bring it would bring it a little closer. You could have snow up in this area here as the system moves across uh, or moves off to the southeast of the area. Uh, we'll be monitoring that situation definitely in the coming days, and that's probably the hot topic because it's the busiest travel day of the year, and uh, we really don't take threats out uh, this far this seriously this far out but uh, you know it's something we have to keep an eye on just for that reason do want to take a look at the uh, temperature anomalies here of course we're starting off today where uh, we have uh, below normal temperatures but as we go a little bit forward in time here here's that brief uh, slightly above normal temperatures that we get to as we get towards Friday uh, but then after that we get this uh, cold snap and this is gonna be really cold look at these anomalies here these are departures for normal and showing well below normal temperatures here for Sunday uh, Sunday Monday time frame is going to be 
uh, very cold. Uh, we're maybe a slight moderation on Tuesday, but we're still looking at below normal temperatures. And then we get back into more of a zonal flow. A zonal flow meaning uh, we have like a west east flow here where you're not dealing with, uh, you know, Arctic outbreaks or, or extreme warm ups, which is a generally a west east flow. Here's the, the, the jet streams kind of going like this. I didn't draw that very well, but uh, the jet stream is actually cutting across the country and almost west to east. So it's kind of like this. This is your jet stream. And uh, anything north here, of course, is uh, below normal. But even in the interior here, the, it, there's, no, there's no really no warm-up coming here. Uh, we stay uh, near or below normal temperatures as we head into thanks or right around the Thanksgiving time frame. So whether or not we have a storm to deal with, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, right now, uh, cold is going to be the theme, and uh, we'll be watching that over the next couple days. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 20th, 2013. Have a great Wednesday.